Wow, incredible! This crazy leak has to be broken down. It's time for some block content leak speed. Block content. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. Yes, Marco Maro, a user that we all pretty much look forward to spreading new information. Some of this has already been leaked out there, but a lot here is brand new, has actually gone out and said a whole lot of new information about Nintendo games coming up in supposedly a Nintendo Direct. And also there's this huge mini Direct leak that talks about the brand new Mario games, Kirby, all that good stuff, even a port of Pikmin 3 and some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate news that you guys are going to love so I want to break down all the leak stuff of today I mean this month has been pretty crazy so far and it's just starting I mean we just got Min Min and a whole lot of cool stuff is going on with Min Min and Smash Brothers Ultimate the 8.0 patch has already gotten a lot of buffs for a lot of characters and I'm enjoying it immensely I've been playing online so much so it's a lot of cool stuff going on and I want to discuss everything with you guys and of course I've been answering many of you guys questions about Smash Brothers Ultimate and new fighters in our show question block where I answer your questions what do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube videos? Well, whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in our next Question Blocked episode. And let's talk very quickly about the giveaway. Yes, the Mario Surprise Capsule giveaway. It's almost closing at the end of this month. Yes, we usually have these parameters for these giveaways. They run a little bit longer because the channel isn't huge and I can't do giveaways every week or every month. But yes, it's coming up quickly and someone will win those four beautiful capsules with characters inside. And also, I wanted to let you guys know who was the winner of the Piranha Plant giveaway. Well, we already detailed this in a previous video, but now actually with everything going on in the world, it took a very long time to get to this user. I mean, it traveled all across the world, a little Piranha Plant in a plane, but it actually arrived at Brandon, and Brandon is the proud winner of the Piranha Plant plushie giveaway. And I put a little note inside of its mouth, and Brandon was super happy to receive it, and also sent me a picture of him being so happy with that plushie. So I'm very happy that the Piranha Plant boy has a brand new home. Brandon, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for being a blocked content fan and always being active in the comment section. And thank you guys also. So yeah, let's go into the news of today for blocked content. And that's of course talking about all this crazy stuff regarding a mini Nintendo Direct. And of course, I'll also dive into Marco Maro's quotes too. But I wanted to start off with this Nintendo Direct mini leak. It goes like this. The banana leaker <laughs> has actually posted this and says mini Direct. Mini Direct sometime this month. Month. Mario Collection is real, mainly just up ports, but has a new level for each game on the menu, not actually part of the campaign. It also has an achievement type list for each game, and it unlocks costumes. The release is November 20th, and I'm very excited about this because November 20th is my birthday, right? Block content birthday, November 20th. Bravely default to trailer for early 2021, so probably delayed because of everything going on in the world. No More Heroes 3 trailer, also for early 2021. Then comes a Doom Eternal trailer, which will be of December of this year. 3D World port is also real, and it has Toadette as a new playable character. That's very cool, and also a brand new world. It will release on September 18th. Of course, because it is a port, it probably could release quicker. Pikmin 3 port has all the DLC on a cartridge and around 10 new missions. It arrives on August 21st. A new Kirby game is announced for the 16th, called Kirby Orbital Assault. A mysterious group sends minions to take over different planets. Popstar is set to be next. Each world is a planet, and some are Kirby 64, some are new. The game is a 3D platformer, but is a bit more linear. Set to release winter 2021, but yes, as in January or February. Smash DLC Pack 7 trailer with no gameplay, so it is just an basically a cutscene, CGI, and it shows an old looking filter on a room with Pac-Man and Donkey Kong arm wrestling. The top of screen says 1981, and it cuts out and then goes back in, and it shows Mario and Sonic wrestling in 1991. That cuts out and it shows Mario, Sonic, and a shadowy figure with strange hair and two very pointy ears. 
It cuts out to 2001, shows Mario, Sonic, the figure, and Banjo. It cuts to 2020, and it shows Mario, Sonic, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and Banjo in the same room, fighting. The shadowy figure comes in and spins around, sending all of them flying. It is now shown to be Crash Bandicoot. Gives a splash screen, then ends and shows the text September 2020. Then Metroid Prime HD announced for Spring 2021. Just like the first game, a Wind Waker Twilight Princess-like update, not Prime Trilogy. Ends with Breath of the Wild 2 tease set to be of Summer 2021. A lot of very interesting information in here. It does not at all feel like a Nintendo Direct Mini because there's so much in here, a lot of ports, a lot of brand new stuff. So I don't think that this is very realistically a Mini Direct. If this person has heard that this is real, well, then it might not be a Mini Direct, right? And if this is just all made up information, then probably shouldn't have made it a Mini Direct, but a normal Direct instead. That feels a lot more real, right? So the idea of the Mario Collection just being up ports to me is very disappointing. It's something that I really don't want this to be because of course we've been hyping it up so much the past couple of months I mean this entire year has been about that Mario collection and if it's coming and it's just Mario 64 port and sunshine just basically up a little bit and Super Mario Galaxy essentially the same but just in HD then I'm going to be very disappointed you know the idea that we get extra stages I mean for Mario 64 that could be really incredible and I could see something for sunshine being very special too it would be very easy to make new planets for galaxy but yeah, there's something in me that just doesn't believe this. It has to be either bigger or even smaller than this, and it would just be, you know, free content for Switch Online or something like that. It, it either is huge or it's very, very small and very, very cheap. Now, the idea of 3D World actually having a port and then Toadette as a playable character, of course, a lot of people have said, yeah, maybe it's Daisy, maybe it's going to be Wario or Waluigi, and maybe it's even going to be Toadette. Toadette does kind of make sense. Then we would have two princesses with Peach and Rosalina. We would have two Mario brothers with Mario and Luigi, and then we would have Toad. Blue Toad and then Toadette, so two Toads, which would be pretty cool, it would be fitting, and of course one new world, and I would be excited to find out what's after, because there's like three sky worlds, like three like galaxy type worlds, what is after that, are we going even further beyond, or is it going to be another kind of Bowser world, or just another themed world, or a world themed after Super Mario Odyssey or something like that, it could all be very possible, and I'm very, yeah, very curious to find out what that Kirby game is, like, what is a 3D platformer but more linear, is that kind of like 3D world, you know, do we finally get that Kirby 3D platformer that we've wanted for such a long time? And then let's talk about that Smash DLC, the idea here that we get a credible trailer that talks about the entire history of the console wars and stuff like that, starting up in 1981 with Donkey Kong and Pac-Man, and then going through like 1991, and of course, you know, coming to a head now with basically everyone working together, everyone in the same game. That's so incredible. I think that if they do a trailer for Crash, it should either be very funny, I mean something with the Crash mascot, or it should be something incredible, like, oh, this is finally happening, the big Sony mascot is coming together with all those characters. So, really curious what you guys think of this leak, and of course, I want to talk very briefly about Marco Morrow as well. At new Marco Morrow says, a few new info before July is over, Nintendo will give an update soon about what is coming to the Switch in late Q3 and quarter 4. Besides Paper Mario, IS, Intelligent Systems, has at least two more games in development for 2021. No More Heroes 3 is likely coming in Q1 of 2021, no More Heroes 1 and 2 are coming eventually. Metroid will be a good way to start 2021. Pokemon Snap November 20th, 2020, which is, yeah, my birthday. I told you guys that's going to be really cool. Since Pac-Man 3 original plans are messed up, they plan to reveal everything at the same time. Yes, multiple surprises about Pikmin are coming. Like the no Rito game on August 28th, maybe. Nintendo will start being aggressive from September. Mostly Mario games as big hits on September and November. E3 reveals to 2021 will have a second chance in September. You will know about Zelda before this summer is over, and Bravely will be late September. That's all for now. Of course, not all this information is corroborated, and we can believe just about everything that this person says. It doesn't make it true, but I think it's really interesting that all this information kind of has a lot of crossover with that link that we just talked about. So I'm really curious what you guys think of all this information. I mean, it's a lot to take in. Very curious what you guys' comments will be. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, 
do you think a Nintendo Direct Mini is coming? And as for a previous comment question winner, our answer comes to us from our user, Little Joshua Studios, saying, but for real, let's talk Nintendo Direct July. We see some returning new and some updates like Breath of the Wild sequel for games, and then the fighter is shown. It's Steve. People get hyped, the lights turn off, then Forest Maze goes on, and it says Smash Brothers Ultimate cross Super Mario RPG. They go it like how they did Terry, but then we don't see Gino, just his hands picking up the Smash envelope, and it says in development. People go crazy hyped, people being thrown in stuff. Well, that's really, really cool. The idea of it just being a teaser, Gino not actually getting shown, but just his hands. I think that that's a very Sakurai thing. And also with everything going on in the world right now, it might just not be finished just because everyone's working at home and things are just different now. So that I think is a really cool idea to make a trailer a little bit smaller, but still very impactful. I really love that idea. I think that it's really cool. So thank you so much for sending in all your comments. These are always so much fun to read through. And of course, a big shout out to our latest Patreon supporters to the super chats you guys sent during live streams you guys make block content possible so if you want to have yourself created in pixel art or join me for a discussion or even if your own ideas become videos go to patreon.com slash blocked content there's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting just for you and remember if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet hit subscribe now smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content See ya!